Hey guys, so this video is part of a series where I'm training for climbing World Cups while living in my car in Europe. At that moment, I'd be training for a few days alone in Innsbruck, so I decided to make my way up to Cologne where I'd meet the guys who would essentially become my team for the rest of the trip. But of course, on the way to Cologne is the famous gym Studio Block, so I couldn't resist and I had to stop there for a day of training. Enjoy the video. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the road, on the way to Cologne, with a spontaneous decision. This is how life on the road is. One day you can wake up, think, oh, I want to go to Cologne. And just like that, you can go to Cologne. Well, I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to Cologne today, because apparently it's about seven or eight hours or something. Yeah, maybe I'm going to find a forest and sleep on the way or something. So, uh, yeah, look at that mountain. Innsbruck is cool. Oh, a lot of traffic today. It's a bit of a clog. I'm getting quite bored now. I don't have much water left. I hope I don't die out of starvation. But I decided not to go all the way to Cologne today. We do a little pit stop in the famous gym studio block. I might stay here tonight and then train tomorrow morning and then go to Cologne. I found the campsite for today. Here it is. There's the bed. It's getting more and more central as we're going north to Germany. But I'd rather be eaten by a pack of policemen than a pack of wolves or even worse. So tonight I'm making some rice with some eggs and tomato. Maybe I put some cheese in it. It's actually quite delicious. I have to say I didn't sleep too well tonight, being next to Frankenstein's castle and all that. Some breakfast. So now we're going to the climbing gym. So the plan for today is to train in the morning here in Studio Block and then drive to Düsseldorf and then maybe have a small sleep in the car and then do a cool fun comp in this door. I don't normally film too much of my warm up. I can always tell a massive difference in my climbing and flow when I've done a thorough movement warm up off the wall. I really focus on getting all my joints flowing well, and especially my hips. When I'm not so motivated to do a good warm up, I just add an element of game into it, which always helps. It's nice to change gyms frequently because that means new warm-up areas each time with new inspiration to improvise with new ideas. When I start climbing, I continue a playful mentality with some risky moves, so I'm not afraid to commit to anything later on in the training. This black boulder was a great example of a boulder which I would definitely not have been able to do without that hip warm-up. I'd never been to Studio Block before, so I was trying to flash as many of the boulders as I could and wasn't trying anything more than three times, unless I really felt like I needed to learn a specific move. There were some really cool features to play around on which I hadn't seen before, and the whole gym was set in a nice modern style. This slab felt really hard for me, and I was always on the edge of slipping off. But if I want to make any tops in the World Cups, I really need to up my slab game for sure, because my strength isn't going anywhere in time. This problem skinned me. So, I just finished my training, and we're gonna head on to Düsseldorf. Post training snack. Post training snack. Post training snack. That's quite a beautiful car over there. If you guys are enjoying the videos I'm making of this series and more, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and follow along for more adventures. So since Celine made it all the way to the North Sea, Celine the car. I'm gonna baptize her with the water from the sea. <laughs> <laughs>